Time for Global News Now. Iran's leader is weighing in on the anti-government protests in nearby countries. Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei praised the uprisings during his sermon at Friday prayers at Tehran University. He called them an Islamic awakening due to what he called the success of Iran's own 1979 Islamic revolution. The people of Sri Lanka have cause to celebrate. Today marks the 63rd anniversary of its independence from the Portuguese, the Dutch and the British. People celebrated with a grand military parade. Australia is in cleanup mode after one of the biggest cyclones ever hit the region. Cyclone Yazi tore across northern Queensland early yesterday with winds of up to 170 miles per hour. One person was killed. If you've ever wanted to visit Croatia, now you'll have an easier time. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton has signed an open skies agreement with the country's foreign minister. Clinton says the new agreement will allow for open travel between the U.S. and Croatia. She says it will also help increase tourism to that country and create new investment opportunities. That's your Global News Now.